welcome to the June 2016 issue of the Risk Insights monthly video and blog series, A Slippery Slope to Oil and Gas Defaults. My name is Eduardo Alves and I'm an Associate Director and Analytical Team Leader at S&P Global Market Intelligence. Today's video will focus on two topics, an introduction to our Probability of Default Market Signals Model or PD Market Signals and an application of this model on seven recent bankrupt oil and gas companies. The PD Market Signals is an analytical tool offered by S&P Global Market Intelligence that produces a probability of default over a one to five year horizon. The model covers all public corporates and financial institutions globally. Among the other enhancements to the traditional equity-based structural models, this model explicitly incorporates country and industry as separate risk dimensions. I already discussed the importance of industry risk in the analysis of counterparties in a previous issue of this series entitled, What's Driving the Oil and Gas Industry Credit Slide? Then I concluded that the current oil and gas industry environment combines a steeper than average cyclical downturn with a permanent shift in industry dynamics. So according to data from the S&P Capital IQ platform, 42 oil and gas companies declared bankruptcy since the beginning of 2016. Of these, seven had a public rating from S&P Global Ratings of triple C or above as of six months ago. To see the path to default of these seven companies, I plotted the average of their PD market signals model output against the price of oil for the past 12 months. Let's look at the results together. Here we have date on the horizontal axis. Average PD is on the left hand axis plotted in red and price of oil is on the right hand axis plotted in teal. We see that between June 2015 in January 2016, the price of oil dropped by half, while the average probability of default increased by a factor of five. Since then, oil experienced a moderate rebound, trading at around 50 US dollars a barrel in early June. However, despite a slight improvement between February and March 2016, the average PD increased threefold in less than three months in what I refer to as the slippery slope to default, reaching 100% by mid-May. So looking back, it appears that the financial damage caused by the increased leverage and strained uh, cash flows was simply too great for these companies despite the modest recovery in oil prices. The steep deterioration in market implied PD for these seven companies highlight the need to employ a credit screening and monitoring tool that is both robust and dynamic. This concludes today's short video. To learn more about this or other risk-related topics, please contact us using the information on the screen. Again, my name is Eduardo Alves. Thank you for watching.